Hi there boys and girls and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of Playboy Playmate Barbara Moore. But not only am I going to tell you a little bit about how I put the thing together, I'm also going to tell you a little bit about the backside of the story of how I got to shoot at this location. So stay tuned because it's a little bit about networking. <music> Well, welcome back. And how did I get this fabulous photograph of Playboy Playmate Barbara Moore? Well, let me tell you the story about networking and how I got to shoot at the location. As you guys know, I'm an LA photographer and in the process of hanging around in LA, you get to meet a lot of interesting people. Now, I happen to have met Kenny Rogers' son, Kenny Rogers Jr. And we got to be really good friends, obviously, because I know a lot of girls and, you know, rock stars love to uh, get together with girls and meet more girls and introduce them to their music and all that kind of jazz. Kenny uh, was a pretty nice kind of guy, uh, pretty casual kind of going, and he was telling me about this makeup artist that was having a birthday party at a well-known photographer's studio in LA. He said, I, I think you should go and, uh, and come to the party. Now, the one thing that interests me mostly was not just meeting the makeup artist, which would be great for a photographer like myself, but also the fact that the photo studio where she was having her birthday party was owned by Ken Marcus. He was originally the head of the Playboy department for Playboy magazine and uh, was a well-known photographer in Los Angeles with probably over 60 centerfolds to his credit. So I thought, ha, huh, I'd like to find out how he got to be working for Playboy and all that kind of good jazz. So let's go meet him. So Kenny got me an invitation, went to his, uh, his studio on Melrose, and I met Ken. And he was a really great guy and um, gave me some really good advice and said, hey, anytime you want to get together, let me know, you know. So we, over the years, became good friends. A long while back, Playboy used to have another magazine called The Book of Lingerie. And it used to have a lot of the Playmates in there in lingerie with a little bit of nudity and some other well-known models. And Barbara contacted me and said, would I shoot some lingerie shots of her? So... I thought to myself, where am I going to shoot her and what would be a good location? Well, it just so happened, I thought to myself, you know what, Ken's got a really cool studio. So I got in touch with Ken and I said, hey, Ken, do you think I could uh, come over and shoot in your space? Now, I don't want to shoot in your studio. I just want to shoot, you know, in some of the areas, such as the staircase. And he said, yeah, sure, you know, come over and do something like that. So Barbara and I went over and she had this fabulous, as you can see, green lingerie with great green stockings and um, I thought to myself okay well I want to do something that's a little bit sort of uh, romantic seductive kind of thing not just light the whole thing up like it was a catalog so what I did was I brought with me a 1k Fazel light now a 1k Fazel light is what is known as a tungsten light and here it is this is the 1k um, now, if you don't know very much about tungsten lights or fazels, fazels have a glass front lens to them, which you can use to focus your light. And if I open this up, I can show you briefly how that works. Inside, you can see there's a bulb right inside here, right? And you move this little dial on the back, back and forth, and it will move the light towards the lens and away from the lens. I don't know if you can see that right there. See how it's, it's moving back and forth? And as it does that, it focuses in from being a spotlight to a flood. And when you want to pinpoint directly at an individual as the way I was doing it for, as you can see the shot here with Barbara, I wanted to feather my light like a spotlight very romantically on her and allow the rest of the light that was coming in through the building through some glass block windows to just add as fill and as you can see right here the light is centered on her and just drops off and you you can just adjust it as you work now it's a very very warm light so once you get it into photoshop or something like that you can kind of tweak it a little bit to make it less yellow but um, but that warm light is also what i consider a little more romantic a little bit more seductive um, you know, blue light's very, very cold. So, we, you know, we kind of gravitate to that warmth, like the warmth of a red 
and golden fire. So that's what I did with the light. I feathered it onto her, just lit her up and tried not to get it to burn out too much because obviously if it's too intense, it will burn out your image. So you want to feather it just enough to be able to give it that little glow that you want on the person or the subject that you're lighting up. And then as I said, I allowed the rest of the light that was bouncing around within the room to just use as a fill. So that's how I lit it. And I think it turned out really fabulous as you can see here. It's a, it's a great photo. And um, there's nothing more exciting than shooting a lovely Playboy Playmate in lingerie. Now Barbara Moore is fabulous to work with. She's got lots and lots of poses. She's got it down to a fine science and it was a pure pleasure to shoot with her. And as I said, the backside of the story was I got to shoot in a fabulous location, which was Ken Marks' studio on Melrose in Los Angeles, California. Well, if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there, tips and tricks, some diagrams, and lots of information that will help inspire you to go out there and create something of your own. I've also got a lot of my photographs on there, and I explain how I put those together. Now, you might want to see some of my commercial work. If you do, go over to my website, andrefelix.com, and check that out as well. Now, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. You can also follow me on Instagram. So all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.